Hey everybody, Norm over here, and I've got my really close buddy, Grant Geisman, one of the great guitar players, wrote the theme to Two and a Half Men, um, you know, just a TV music star, and uh, he's... None of that is true, but... Well, it is, but, you know, he plays it down. But, uh, you know, the other night, a lot of the guys from the store, we went out, this is the first music we actually went out to see since the pandemic, and we saw... Um, our friend Steve Tyrell, who uh, Grant plays with, and it's a big band kind of thing, and they do the American Songbook and that kind of stuff, but Steve is probably the best at that, in my opinion, of any of the guys that are doing it. Very really, soulful yeah, singer, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, Most of the guys are like Sinatra, and he's you know, got a different... He's a, got little, a touch of Ray in there. A little too. more Ray, yeah. In fact, they did a new uh, album that's... Yeah, it's, uh, He's, Steve's got Ray, a new album Ray coming Steve's. out in September called Shades of Ray. It's his tribute to Ray Charles. Some very cool stuff. I actually arranged one of the tunes. I did an arrangement of What I Say on there, which is cool. Yeah, it was great how you guys did that. But uh, Bob Mann did most of the other things, I think. And really, really nice album. So, so you know, they're doing like American Songbook tunes, you know. I mean, they're really cool, but, you know more of an arch top kind of thing and you were playing your Epiphone Riviera that you got from us. Right? I did, yeah. It's it was perfect beautiful, for that. sounded terrific. You know, that's even a little out of the ordinary for that kind of gig because most guys would be using a thick body. Like an L5 or something. But, you know, Steve Tyrell likes to have a little more soulful stuff going on. So you right. kind of need something a like a Riviera or a 335 so you can do both things. Have the jazzy tone but also more bluesy. So, so he got that real fat sound and then on the side of the stage i see a flying v sitting there on the side of the stage and i tap lemo i go lemo check out the v i you know i didn't know whether it was going to be a gag or what the deal was you know i mean i'm kind of you know I, I didn't know what they had planned but i mean it was the most inappropriate guitar guitar for that kind of music you would think but uh you know in the middle of the set grant goes over and picks up and he has uh, Joe Bonamassa, Amos V. And this is the prototype. Made by Epiphone. It looks yeah. just like this, but this is the prototype. Joe gave me this because I sold him the original Amos Flying V. And uh, he picked it up, and they started doing a couple of the Ray Charles tunes. And one of them they did was Hallelujah, I Just Love Her So, which is one of my favorite Ray tunes. And you did a really cool guitar part. Can you show us like what you were doing on that? Yeah, um, it's a Bob Mann arrangement. Uh, the album's coming out in September, but this is the intro uh, for Hallelujah from Steve Tyrell's new album. It goes like this. normally would you know somebody would use it with distortion like right like, well but the other this funny thing about these instruments are very versatile and this particular absolutely. you know version of it has very hot pickups so you can actually get like a beautiful sort of jazzy sound sound like that yeah you know but it does and it also and you go doesn't the, feed back you go to yeah. this back pickup you know you can play soulful stuff it's an amazing instrument i think absolutely the only thing you can't do with this guitar is sit down and play that you can't do that i had to ask them for a strap to be able to play it but you know you start cranking it you know.
stuff I taught you, you're really doing I know. Good. The yeah. lessons yeah. paid off. Thanks, Norm. You know? <laughs> right here. So anyhow, you know, I always say that the guys that come in this store have arrested development. Okay? Sure. And he's like a guitar nerd. He loves all great guitars. But this is ridiculous. <laughs> Grant Geisman wrote this book. It's crazy. Now, I don't know if this is for, like, people who love comics that are going blind and can't see, so you did it this big, <laughs> no, or it's, what? Actually, the, you know, the captions are pretty small. It's just, it's almost 600 pages. It covers uh, the history of EC Comics, which is like Tales from the Crypt and Weird Science and even Mad Magazine. But starting from the very beginning of comics in 1933 and going up through 1956 and even with an aftermath. So there's Mad Magazine. You know, Tales from the Crypt, Vault of Horror, all these incredible comic books. And I wrote every word of this book and picked all the images. So wow. not only Arrested Development, but it's like a life sentence with him. Kind of a needle <laughs> and left. Yeah, you were arrested right. and you're never going to get out. Cause that's right. Nobody in their right mind would do this. But if you love comics, man, this is about as cool as it possibly gets. How long did it take you to do this? I worked book? on it for about three years. Yeah. Wow. And I mean, it, and if you don't have room in your house for a gym, you could just lift this book a bunch well, of times. The thing is, it's not that we're short. It's this book is 15 and a half inches high and it weighs 13 pounds, actually. And it's oh published by Tashin. And he asked me where to get it. You can yeah. go to the Tashin website or at the Tashin stores or Amazon has them. What's really um, cool is the art on this stuff is just killer. I mean, I mean you it's know, some of the best artwork they ever did in comic books, so. Absolutely. I mean, it's, you know, considered to be some of the best stuff ever. And the and colors course, and all that, and you have a lot of the original comics, Yeah, right? I have a complete collection of this stuff and a lot of artwork and, you know. You are not how well. Else, how else can I do this work? <laughs> no, I know, I have a problem, I do. You have a few problems that I know of, and then, you know, so I don't know what else there is, but if this isn't enough, I don't know. Yeah. But Grant Geisman, you are the bomb. I mean, this book is really cool, The History of Comics. And, the uh, history of EC, e -comics. EC Comics. EC Comics, right. And you said there's a couple of the books this size. One is for yeah. Marvel. Tashin did a book uh, about Marvel Comics, the same size, and they did one about DC Comics, like Superman kind of stuff. And then this is the third one, EC Comics, which originally stood for Educational Comics. They did weird Bible comics in the 40s, and then they morphed into more entertaining comics, and then horror and science fiction and just crazy... Mad Magazine stuff, so a very cool book, if, if I do say so myself. <laughs> well, what I, one thing that I remember as a kid uh, with Mad Magazine, and I'm just going to say this, I'm going to turn it into Guitar Shop, but I remember there was one page where they had pictures of all these shops, and it was like, greatest guitar shop in the universe, and then right next door to it was greatest guitar shop in our galaxy, and then next to it was greatest guitar shop in the world. The next one was greatest guitar shop in the United States. Next one was greatest guitar shop in New York City. And the next one was greatest guitar shop on this block. So I thought that was really clever. And this and store is definitely the best guitar shop on, on this, this block. block. Yeah, on this block. I would have to say I don't like to brag, but and maybe on this location here is the best at this location. So anyhow, again, I'm sorry, Grant. I mean, you know, your doctor's bills from this must be something else. Uh, my, my wife is very tolerant. Let's she just must put be, it that I'll way. tell you, she's a really sweet lady, but man, between guitars and this stuff, yeah. I don't know I what have, else I is. have a problem, I do. Yes, <laughs> all right. Well, you can get this book where again? You can get it at Tashin.com. You can get it at Amazon. There's some Tashin stores around. You can just walk in the store and buy it. Tashin one. is spelled? T-A-S-C-H-E-N. Okay. Just for you guys, because a lot of our guys can't spell too I know. I, I'm happy I got that out. So. <laughs> a lot of people try to find our store, and they look up norms, but they don't even know norms starts with an N. So <laughs> oh I'm, I'm sorry, but I love you guys in spite of that. The great Grant Geisman, love all you guys for watching our nonsense here. But this, I thought I had to bring this to your attention, because this is just a little too out there. Um, you know, so... There you go. For all you guys that aren't well for guitars, here's something else you can get into that your wives will kill you for. <laughs> so, I hope none of your wives carry a gun. Oh, Love y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Love y'all. Yeah. Great Geisman. Thank you. <laughs>